One of the interventions that I think has been most successful in my experience is what's called a student support center. Your in-school suspension room is one of the most ineffective ways to help change student behavior. Sticking a student in a room with no windows, telling them they can't sleep, they can't get up, they can't walk, they can't talk, but they have to sit there for seven hours. And sometimes they can do work. Some schools say you can do nothing but stare at a wall. Some call that solitary confinement. Um, that is not an effective way to keep kids engaged in school. So in one of the buildings I worked at, we abolished all in school suspensions and we use those rooms and turn them into student support centers where we have a certified um, trained professional it can be a paraprofessional it can be a social worker depending on your building and that person is in there and when it's student either elects to go in there because they're having a rough day or is removed from there because they're having a rough day that person works with them on social emotional learning competencies there are thinking sheets there are processing sheets the teachers will go in to show them their work their guidance counselor, or social worker, or psychologist comes in to talk and process with them. And by the end of that time, whether it's a whole day or one period, there is a plan on how they're going to move forward back into class. And we have found that to be the most effective um, intervention that we have. It is not super expensive. You, if you have an in-school suspension room, then you're halfway there. You already have the space. A lot of districts have someone who sits in that in-school suspension room, so you already have the staff. So if you can just shift things around and shift your thinking into how we support kids, you can really turn that horribly negative experience into, into a learning experience.